hey guys welcome back to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe we visited Turkey on holiday and um, we went to Kema so we flew into Antalya Airport from London Gatwick which took around four hours it was quite an easy um, easy transfer it was only around by an hour transfer if that from Antalya Airport um, into Kema area. The hotel we stayed in was in Guna. As you can see, we got a day flight, which was quite nice. Normally it's a night flight in and out of Turkey, but we were able to get a day flight, um, therefore we were able to, to see the local surroundings on the transfer. And there was quite a small mini bus as well, which was quite nice. There was only um, two um, hotel stops before us. On the way to the hotel, the driver pointed out some, some key landmarks um, whilst we were driving through Antalya, so that was also quite helpful. Um, just to, to see some local landmarks if we wanted to visit um, this city during our holiday. We did notice that it got um, dark quite quickly, so by the time we were travelling through, um, the sunlight was going down. But again, it was it was nice to see that sunset. We arrived at our hotel around about sort of 8.30 and we stayed in a two bedroom interconnecting room at the Greenwood Sherwood Hotel which was all inclusive as you can see here um, two bedroom interconnecting room with one bathroom we were on the first floor um, which was quite nice so we had a balcony um, and we were overlooking a a next neighbouring hotel. Quite a lot of space with air conditioning which was a godsend because at the time we were there it was mid-30s in temperature. Quite a big hotel, four floors with different rooms. We were staying in the main the main building but there were also some outbuildings as well which we'll see later on in the video. That area there was just a, a, a nice little sit seating area. I think most people kind of sat there during the evening. It was a bit quieter than sitting in the main lobby area. There was also that area to the back of the hotel as well where people could, uh, could sit. So you had two main lifts for the hotel, for the main building. You had a couple of shops there, mini market, which we used a couple of times. That was the main bar area, which did get crowded at times. 
um, and that's the main restaurant where you'd get your breakfast, lunch, dinner. It was quite nice because you could sit outside of the evening or in the morning and um, there was lots of lounges around the pool if you wanted to sit in the sun or in the shade, so that was quite nice. They also provided evening entertainment. Um, at the start there was entertainment for children and then um, later on a show. There was a um, Brazil carnival which was an amazing night, definitely recommend watching that. And um, that there was, was where they held, held the shows. Through here was another bar area which we could use in the evening and there was also a hairdresser slash barbers and then this is where you could get your, your snacks during the day, ice cream and some delicious donuts. As we mentioned we stayed in the main building and as you can see there's a couple of blocks of alternative rooms there. So this path led to another pool, I would say more of a children's area where they had the mini club and they also had the pool with um, slides and, and things for younger children. As you can see, this was early in the morning, and that's why it was quite quiet, which was lovely. Lots of little cats around, quite friendly cats. So as we come up this path here, as you can see on the left is the mini club. And I think there's some, there's some bathrooms there, some toilets. Glorious views of the mountains, absolutely stunning views. And then this is the additional pool with loads of loungers with different slides and activities for children. On this side also you've got a snack bar which we visited on a couple of occasions which had sort of pizzas, chicken, chips, um, ice cream, salad and there's also a bar here as well where you can get some drinks if you're using the, the water slides. We didn't get to use the water slides, unfortunately, on this holiday. But um, when we walked past at lunchtime on a, a number of days, it was quite busy there. People have already got their towels on the lounges already. What we did notice about the hotel was that there was loads of flowers and trees around 
which was quite nice for the aesthetic features. This little area here took you just above the restaurant and overlooking the pool. Just a nice other little seating area. And also a view of the tennis courses as well. Again, just really lovely views of the mountains from there. This is in the restaurant at breakfast time, so you had different fruits and vegetables and cereals and cheese and crackers. It was all you can eat, uh, all inclusive as well. And again, you had your, your kind of standard fried stuff, so eggs, turkey sausage, potatoes, pastries. This is the main lobby area. You had the rep information there to the left, some seating area to the right, which was quite nice over the evening. And then you had reception there on the left. And this was the main entrance so if you were dropped off at the hotel or picked up from your airport transfer if you were going on any excursions you'd be either picked up right outside the entrance of the hotel or just here as we walk outside the main doors So the beach was around about a five minute walk I would say from the hotel, so that was quite nice and the hotel had a, a private section of the beach with its own lounges um, and had a snack bar there as well where you could get drinks and, and food and lunch during the day.
the loungers are covered by a, a canopy so if you were wanting to uh, get that vitamin D and get that sun you just needed to move them slightly into the sun accordingly to how you wanted to sit. That's the snack bar to the left there that you can see and it also had some toilets in there as well for guests to use. And this was specifically for people that were staying in the Hotel Sherwood Greenwood. There was that walkway down to the beach, um, but what I would say is the sand got particularly hot, so just be careful. in high season. What we also noticed was that going down to the water was very, very pebbly, so we'd taken some swim shoes, which I'd definitely recommend because the stones were quite hot during the, during the, the peak day. But the water was beautiful, really, really clear as you can see very very warm. It did get quite busy at one point but again that tailed off after lunch. But you were able to go out quite far for a swim. They also offered banana boats, parasailing nearby as well so if that's something that interested you, if you were an adrenaline junkie you could also um, pay, pay to do those activities. As you see, there's some little fishes there, which did have a little nibble on your feet, but it wasn't too bad. As you can see, it's still quite stony there, so definitely, as mentioned, recommend swim shoes. I think there was only one occasion where we had to wait to get sun lounges, but other than that, there was plenty there for, for people to use. And even when we were waiting, it was literally a few minutes. The member staff was very quick to, to get us some sun lounges to use. As you can see, we love to swim in the sea, so we spent uh, quite a long time just floating around. Again, there's amazing views of the mountains. Not too sure what where those mountains were or what, what they were called, but just an amazing view from the beach and from our hotel.
As I said, it was around sort of mid 30s, so we had bought these um, these little fans um, from Amazon, I think, which came a couple of days before. They were an absolute godsend. As you can see here, the hotel is just, just up there on the, on the right hand side, so yeah, about a five minute walk. There's quite a few different hotels nearby. At times you did hear music playing, but that tailed off at around 11 o'clock at night. So you can see this was in the middle of the day, so it was, it was getting a bit busier. And that was the bar there on the left hand side.
This is a little town area in Greenock, um, around about sort of a damn 10 minute walk. Again, lots of hotels, but lots of shops that you can, uh, you can barter. A couple of restaurants, a couple of bars. We took Turkish Lira and Euro. Um, if we're coming from the UK, I think the rate is better for um, Turkish Lira from the pound. But most shops accept, accepted lira and euro. In the day, we noticed that this little strip was quite quiet, but it definitely picked up towards the evening. As you can see, the shops had suitcases, trainers, hats, different types of tea, different types of Turkish delight, different clothes that you could you could buy and take back. So it's quite nice to have a have a stroll through there in the day and at the night as well. You could get Dolmish buses from here into Kama, I believe, and also back the other way into Antalya. 
the hotel was around about 10 minute drive from Kama. So not far at all. To get into camera it was around 12 to 15 euros in a taxi, which wasn't too bad. And the hotel could call a taxi on your behalf. So it was quite easy to, to do that and we did that um, during one day and on an evening as well, which was quite nice. At the pool there was different activities during the day. Water polo, different games that the entertainment team had also put on. This was one evening when we were in Kema. We'd went for dinner and then decided to walk down to the harbour. As you can see, lots of different bars and restaurants and shops. As you can see, it was quite safe to walk around at night.
so this was the main strip to the right there leads you down to the harbour and then to the left lots of shops restaurants bars again where you can park where you can barter to get trainers hats clothes bags you name it we did notice that at night this was a lot busier than in the day but that also could have been because when we went in the day it was starting to rain Sorry about the camera here, I'm not sure why it got a bit fuzzy. But as you can see it definitely comes to light in the evening.
thanks for watching guys i hope you liked our video please don't forget to like and subscribe and please share this video to family and friends